Hi, hello, welcome you all to the book marathon in the name of Search the Roots, conducted by Mahalashmi College. I am Jay Priya of First Time Become General. Before getting into the video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe Mahalashmi College. Without any further ado, let's get started. The people who read books are always portrayed as soft people, and books generally have a softer tone. The first book with the harsh tone that I came across is Shwetab Gangwar's The Rudest Book Ever. He attempts to break some common myths using a harsh tone. All of us have been taught to reflect on the customs and traditions around us, but the thought process is never explained to us. So, we stick on to the same stereotypical thoughts instead of embracing the new and we pass on the same thoughts to the next generation. But if we are bringing a new life into this world, which is like creating a mirror image of ourselves, instead we should give them the space to think for themselves. Instead of teaching them what to think, teach them how to think, otherwise they will just be a follower of yours. When we look up to someone as a hero, we try to be like them, which is useless and impossible. No one is a hero, but their activities can be heroic, so don't try to follow anyone. Once you become a follower, you become nobody. Nothing is perfect in this world and no one is perfect either. It can be your parents, our teachers, a leader, whoever it may be, but none of them are perfect. Everyone makes mistakes. Only if you accept that, you will be able to accept your own mistakes. Because we try to be perfect like our role model. But only when we realize that they are not perfect, we can accept our own imperfections and better ourselves. There are three major facts about life. We can't 100% agree to a person. Similarly, we can never be in 100% disagreement with a person. There will be at least one thing in common. We all want happiness. But only if we aim for satisfaction, our life will be good. There are many problems when we look for happiness alone. Constant search for happiness can screw us. So, it is better to screw happiness. Though we have everything, we might not be happy. Because the brain is lethargic when we are young. We judge life on people around us based on our experiences. If we have low failure, we tend to be judgmental towards the opposite gender. But this is not the reality, as our brain isn't fully developed. You won't be happy when you get the things that you decide at a later stage, because those things are based on immature decisions taken at a very young age, and you thought that those things will give you happiness. But you can be really happy only if you figure out what gives you happiness after you become mature. There are times when we are obsessed with a person and get struck in a relationship. The other person might have moved on, but we wouldn't have. We are not able to recreate the happiness we had with a particular person. We don't know what gives us happiness. Hence, we hold on to the things that gave us happiness earlier. When we figure out the happiness within, we stop looking for it outside. We want to achieve like our peers. But we tend to get diverted because we constantly earn for happiness and tend to give important to things that gives us momentary happiness. Don't earn for constant happiness. Look for things that helps in your betterment. If you hesitate to say no because of the fear that you might hurt somebody, we try to not hurt others for our own happiness. There is no guarantee that the things we earn for will give us 100% happiness. The constant search for happiness also leads to comparison. We tend to hunt for our past life because we did not have responsibilities or commitments back then. We tend to get struck in the past because we are not ready to take responsibility. Instead of dwelling in the joys of the past, take up responsibility in the present. If you do that, you will let go of the past and do things to keep you happy in the present. There are four things that create problems in our life. One is the constant search for happiness. Doing things to make others happy, thinking that it will give us happiness. And the next is comparing your happiness with the happiness of others. The third is dwelling in the past and feeling sad. And the last one is earning for the lost happiness. If you get rid of these four things, you will not have problems and find peace. In life, happiness should depend on peace quotient. If you keep searching for happiness, you will get struck. We come across people who seem to be successful and happy and we earn for the same. Online personas of success and happiness are not honest. There is no need for honesty on social media, for a person shows only what he wants in such platforms. After understanding that, you can decide whether you really want that happiness. 
This book tells us the difference between expectation and reality in life and in relationship. When we are on a diet, the doctors never advise to skip a particular type of food because the patient won't listen. So, the doctors tend to hide the truth. This book speaks some harsh truth which we might not be ready to embrace. We prefer a softer tone, but everything in this book is harsh. If you are ready for it, you can buy the book and read. It is written by an Indian author and published by Westland Books. The rudest book ever is a self-help book that helps us realize the ignorance that we pose towards our own self. Ultimately, there are something good in bad things, positive in negative, if you find it from the opposite angle. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Feel free to comment your opinion in the comment section. Thank you all.